What is up guys, it has been a while and welcome to Swiss Pro Slalom. I'm incredibly excited for this one, it is one of my favourite tournaments of the year and it's been a long break since I've carried my camera with me. Final and almost a carbon copy of the, uh, of the folks that uh, have made it. One thing I don't know if you guys know, on Thursday and Friday we actually had the King of Darkness, which was another pro event. It only had a top four final, but essentially those people who made the final, the head-to-heads yesterday, they have to ski again today. I skied there Thursday and Friday, so I had the day off, I came home and practiced, went pretty well. But it got, went from a Mastercraft to a Nautique, obviously different lake, different drivers. So this is a super fun challenge, and one that I've never really encountered before. Of course, like usual, I am slightly late. I just like to not be late, but just challenge myself you know really give me something to to get ready for but yeah let's go have some fun all right let's go all righty cp first tournament of the year how are we feeling super fired up but relaxed you know got the good uh swiss pro you know chill vibes uh yeah i can't wait to get out there let's get it right we have i think three four skiers ago to me got some big scores jamie calhoun with a two and a half at 41 charlie ross just running a three at 41 when he's on it, man, he's just on it. Conditions are pretty, pretty windy, but gotta do what you gotta do. We have really good protection here at Swiss, so it's not showing up on the water much. Let's just keep fingers crossed that all goes well. These bibs are a little on the tight side. All right, time to go. CP got a one and a half at 41, which is awesome. We still have Charlie Ross in the lead with a three, so let's see what we can do. Who knows, gonna go out there, have fun, get my gate, hopefully go run a 39 and see what we can put together at 41. Fingers crossed, let's go do it. Halfway down the uh, 41 off, and here is 41 off for rubber. He is yeah. when he gets around buoy number one, he turns two, look at this, he's still there. He's on top of buoy number three, does he make a play on four? Oh! 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 Oh my God, what a round. I said it, we went for it three and a quarter at 41. The round has just finished and that has put me in third place, which is amazing for me. I don't normally get up that far. Awesome first round, sat in third. Can't really believe it, but Nate and Freddie have a five. Will is stuck in with a few of the guys with a three and I'm sandwiched in the middle there, but kind of calm down now. But what a day, what a round. I love my new ski, I love it. And this is the first time I think I've had a good first round on a vlog. Normally I'm speaking to you all sad, so let's hope that continues this year. So I have a while, I have like four hours till I ski again. So I'm gonna head home, back to Jack's. He's about 15 minutes away, grab some lunch, chill for a minute, stretch, hip sore, thumb hurts, and um, ankles a little stiff. So probably just go back and try to loosen that up. Let's go grab some lunch and see how we feel for second round. So we have the glamorous life. Sat here eating my lunch watching some Netflix, gonna crack down on some lunch. Turkey mints and rice and stuff, love it. Watch some Netflix, go stretch, and then probably have to go get back out there at the lake. One thing I don't know if is interesting or not, but you're getting it whether you like it or not, is I actually really like to go back and watch the event back through. Obviously my own skiing to kind of see what I'm doing, but I do also like to be, I'm super nosy. I like to know what's going on with everyone else. So I like to skip through, see some other people's 39s, 41, see how they look, see how they're feeling. I don't really know why. There's part of me that's just nosy and wants to see how they're skiing, but I think a little part of me is to see what they're going to do. You know, did they look good? Did they look like they're going to run it? Was their score really a true representation of um, what they're going to do out there? But yeah, just a little insight. Finished my lunch, just chilling now. And um, probably going to have to head out to the lake pretty soon because it's getting, it's getting a little close. <laughs> All right, so round two is up. Thumb sort, back sort, hip sort. So gonna go out there, make sure that all feels good for the final. Done some stretching, done some warming up. Oof. But um, hopefully we're fine out there. Uh, gonna go have some fun. Everyone's falling a little weird, so I just wanna test it out. Maybe I'll do two passes, maybe I'll do the whole thing. We'll see how we feel, but just gotta go and ski and hopefully keep my third seeding, but we'll see. Well, that wasn't the best skiing I've ever done. Actually pretty, pretty safe. Um, Pretty solid skiing, but um, not the earliest. Big two at 39. Happy to push the ski around, see how it performs under those kind of conditions. But um, yeah, pretty 
pretty happy. I'm tired though. We've had a long week. We had obviously King of Darkness two days ago, um, so I can't even imagine how those guys in the final were feeling. All right, it is finals time. Um, excited to go. A little tired, but I gotta get myself pumped up. Goal is, you know, just to go for it. I need to get through that 39. It's still not a simple task ever, but um, get through that 39, get through my passes, get through my gates, really focus on those, and then just have a go at 41, see what happens. It is Robert Hazelwood. That three and a quarter has really, really helped his cause, you know. Just by squeaking that ski outside buoy number four, it's opened up a whole bunch of options for him. This is 39, but that's looking good. He's right on time here. Look at that, works too. Slicing and dicing. Boom. Yeah, definitely one of the best uh, 39s we've seen so far this weekend. Tight, no loose line at all on the backside of every single buoy there. Provided that if he comes through with a score of three at, at the very least and take the lead, that will ensure that he finishes the worst of three. Let's watch. Here he comes, Robert Hazelwood, 41 off, 10.25 meters. Good start, look at him go. Ate a little rope at one, goes for the big two. It's going to be three at Doesn't best. Make that's a solid score. He's pumped. Yeah. Look at it. Three at 41. Yeah, because he knows that's the podium. That's yeah, what we were yeah. just talking about here. His backup score has set him aside. He's in for in the lead right now with two to go. At the minimum, he's going to come away with third he in a pro event. He is definitely pumped, and uh, so he should be. Let's go. Thanks, man. How was it? It was sick. My second ever podium, three at 41. Could attend it. Kind of. Kind of bottled it a little bit, but yeah, second ever podium, I'm through the roof. We tied. Third and a third. Two thirds, woo! I haven't interviewed you all weekend. We've yeah, been busy. you did interview me earlier today, actually. How did we feel? We felt pretty good. We felt a little, uh... I got very serious very quickly. Just we saying. got a little slow, like, just kind of lacking intensity in the first two rounds at 39. Um, so in finals, I was like, all right, now or never, we're gonna be intense. And then it was a little bit too much, so gonna work out some kinks this week and we'll be back in it for more What a day. We ended up with skier of the day as well. We got the third place trophy. That quarter really saved my ass in the end because it was a three-way tie for three at 41. So I ended up in that tie, obviously, but ended up coming out at the top because of my backup scroll that was that quarter. Will ended up in fourth, which is um, awesome. So we ended up with four syndicates in a top five, which is very, very cool. But um, what a day for me. It's gonna take a minute to sink in. This is my second ever podium, which is um, which is pretty cool with a stacked field. It's kind of crazy. So sorry for the vlog, been a little little sparky here and there, but um, it's been a busy day. I've never actually skied well on a vlog, so I've always had plenty of time to film and film everyone else. So this is awesome change for me. Slightly worse for you, but thank you so much for watching, guys. This is gonna be happening at a lot more tournaments this year, and I hope you enjoy what you are seeing with a little behind the scenes of these tournaments. See you guys in the next one. I believe it's gonna be the Jax LCQ in two weeks. So um, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.